Well, it was short notice for celebration, but I managed instant champagne and hors d'oeuvres. Champagne? Would you rather have soda? You got it. No, I just don't understand why you're making such a big deal out of it. Honey, because we've been so hard on you. We thought we were doing the right thing, and we were. But in spite of all of those restraints, look at what you've achieved. I yeah, aren't I something? You are something. We're very proud of you, and we want you to know it. That's <laughs> right, Amanda. Julianne, let's go look for some more canopies. Good idea. Amanda, you don't seem too excited. Well, I'm just a contestant, right? Do you know how stiff the competition is for that? You'll be more than a contestant when we submit the video match story. Daddy, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, of course, dude. I need to talk to you about Amanda. <laughs> well, this isn't a very good time. I don't care. I want to talk to you today. Something wrong? Could you tell? Well, you don't seem very happy in light of what you've just heard, darling. Oh, you mean about the award? Yeah, of course. <sighs> Daddy, I don't think I want any part of this award. So, Sam, uh, if you get this message, come on over, because it won't be a celebration without you. Okay? So we'll see you. Bye. What kind of celebration? Hi. Hi. What's going on? Amanda got accepted for a very prestigious journalism competition. No, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Isn't that great? Oh, that's wonderful. What are you doing here? Well, I, I finished my rounds early at the hospital, and I... I don't know. I just didn't feel like going home. Oh, well, that's great. You can join us for a glass of champagne. Well, I don't know if I'd be very good company for a celebration. Why not? Case of the jitters? Big case of the jitters, yes. Well, honey, maybe this isn't the right thing to do. Well, Mom, I... Well, honey, it's not too late to back out. It's funny. That's exactly what Vicky said. When? Today. What happened? Uh, I'm nothing. I'm just nervous, that's all. I mean, I haven't changed my mind. No. Um, I mean, Vicky and I, we've been through so much together already that I'm pretty sure what the future will be. And uh, I'm ready for it. Well, that doesn't sound very romantic. I don't know about romantic. Why not? Well, I had the hots for Cecile, and I was in love with uh, Blaine, and both those marriages, both those marriages were, were mistakes. And... I don't know, I guess it's, it's, it's good that I'm going into this marriage with my eyes uh, wide open. And, and I'm doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Including you? Yes, including me. Tomorrow at this time, I'll be a married man again. This is from Marley and me. Jake, you should not have done this. <laughs> but my best friend gets married and I can't get her a present? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. But you're not going to open it? No, I'll wait until Marley's around. Well, that might be a while. She's at the gallery and then she mentioned something about getting her hair done. Jake, about. do you ever think about Lassiter? As little as possible. I mean about us. In Lasseter. Yeah, once in a while, why? You remember when everything used to get really crazy and uh, we used to crawl out on top of Bridget's porch and just talk and talk? <laughs> what the hell made you think about that? Uh. I wish this place had a porch. Things are getting a little crazy, huh? The fire escape. Hmm? What? Come on, Jake. For old time's sake. <laughs> you want me to climb out on the fire escape? Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's cold out there, but one thing. Too wimpy for a little cold weather. Watch it. I knew I would get you to do it, though. Look at you. You're not in any shape to shinny out on a, on a, on a fire escape. Yeah, watch me. Yeah. <laughs> After this, I gotta go. Well. <laughs> Is it just cold in Lassiter or what? See? We did it. Yeah, we did it. Mm. This is much better. I couldn't even breathe in there. She's not going to freeze out here? Oh, Bridget knitted this sweater, and I could be warm in the North Pole. 
Okay. God. Remember all those crazy things we used to plan when we were on Bridget's porch? Yeah. <laughs> all I ever wanted was just get out. Just get out of there. Well, now you're out. Did you ever wonder why it was us, though? I mean, why we were the ones who escaped? Because we wanted it more than anyone else, huh? I used to think that, but now I wonder. All those girls in my graduating class, and I used to think that they had everything. But now, how many of them are cooking macaroni and cheese for three <laughs> kids and wishing to God that they were anyplace else in the world, huh? Probably a lot of them. Why did we get what they wanted? Or mainly, why did I? Because you deserve it. I wonder why. Okay. What's wrong? Take. I've got everything I ever Maybe. I have a family. I've even got boatloads of money. All those things we used to dream about in Lasseter, they're... They're coming true. And... I can't help but thinking that somehow everything's gonna screw up because... In the end, I don't deserve to be this happy. Did you talk to Jamie today? Yeah, before he came. Why? Is that when you started feeling bad? No. Yeah, I'll bet. What are you talking about? Jamie, I... I don't know, Vicky, I, I... He's the one that doesn't deserve things. Hey, I, I know you don't like the way he handled things when I told him about the baby, but, you know, he was with Lisa then. Well, maybe he still is. I was at Jamie's apartment last Friday. Why were you at Jamie's? It doesn't matter. The point is, Lisa showed up.